Hello. This is our third in the series for simplifying or simplifying radical expressions and square roots specifically. Uh, we're going to discuss square roots that contain numerical values like on our first two vlogs and now we're going to add variable terms and variables to our terms. Now variables, you know, as an aside here, well consider variables they have exponents to the first power, second power, third, fourth, fifth, or whatnot. If a variable is raised to an even power such as these, Those are all even powers. Remember how when we multiplied like bases with the variables, we added the exponents, like bases with exponents? We added like x to the first times x to the first equals x squared. That means x squared has a square root. So really, like x third squared would be x to the sixth. So when you have variables, you'll find if they have perfect squares or not. Like here's our examples. Now 16m squared. 16, the square root, is 4 m squared has a square root also. Now what is it? m squared, the square root is m. Now here's what it means to us. And that's our final answer. We split the numerical part from the variable, took the square roots, and re put them, combine them together. The answer is 4m. Now we have 72k squared. We'll break it up again. Now, from previous vlogs, well, for this vlog actually, k squared, the square root is k. Now 72, now in previous vlogs with that one, we had the square root of 72 and we broke it down. We simplified it into two factors. There are several perfect squares within 72, but the best one would be 36 times 2. Now watch what happens. square root of k squared is k, like we just talked about with x, or m. Now, looking at the square root of 36 times the square root of 2, we can see the square root of 36 is 6. We multiply that with the square root of 2 times k. And that really is our answer. Let's look at our third example now. 200 k squared q to the 8th power. k squared and q to the 8th power are both even powers, so they both have perfect squares. Divide the power by 2, and that's your square root. Really, you don't have to write k to the first power, but I'm doing that for illustrated purposes. q to the 8th, divide 8 by 2, it's 4, and k squared, 
2 divided by 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now look at the 200. Now, within 200, there is a perfect square. That would be 100. So we'll take the square root of 2 times the square root of 100. And that would be our answer. It looks awkward, but you understand 10 times the square root of 2 is a real number. It's a number. It has a value. Okay? If you were to convert to a decimal, you're gonna, it's, gonna, it's not going to be a perfect square. It's going to be an estimation. It's not a perfect answer. So, now our last example. Now, we have 300, and by previous examples, we can say that 3 times 100 equals 300. That's done. Now we have z cubed. Now, z to the cubed power, 3 to the third power, is not even. So, there's no way to take the square root of z cubed. You can't divide 3 by 2, but I can split it up into two different variables. See what I did? We can split up the variable z cubed into z squared and z. And take those square roots. Meaning this is how, how all works out now. Watch. And that will be our final answer. I hope you understand more about square, simplifying radical terms and square roots. Okay, and I'll see you next vlog.